Hello and welcome to vlog number 76. This week, at the request of YouTube user Thunderbolt Corporation, I'm going to talk about glial cell-derived neurotrophic factor, or GDNF, and its potential for use in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. So, what exactly is GDNF? GDNF is a protein that the body manufactures within the brain. Glial cells support neurons in the brain by maintaining the environment surrounding the neurons and providing them with necessary chemicals called neurotrophic factors. There are many different neurotrophic factors, some having an effect on certain types of neurons and not on others. GDNF is one of these neurotrophic factors and it was seen to dramatically revive dying dopamine neurons which are the cells that are found to die off in the brains of people with Parkinson's disease. GDNF was discovered by two researchers, Liu Fen Lin and Frank Collins, in 1991, and the initial results of their study, which was published in 1993, were truly astounding. There followed a number of studies using animal models of Parkinson's disease, and the results were amazing in virtually all of these studies. Given these results, clinical studies were set up to see if they could be replicated in humans. The first of these studies pumped GDNF into the fluid surrounding the brain. Taking GDNF orally wasn't an option because it cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. However, the drug did not penetrate the brain very deeply and effects were limited. Another study administered the GDNF by pumping it into an area of the brain called the striatum through implanted tubes. Although this was a very small trial involving only five Parkinson's patients, the results were fantastic. After 12 months of treatment with GDNF, researchers noted a 39% improvement in off-medication motor symptoms as measured on the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale, or UPDRS. A 61% increase in the participants' perception of their ability to go about daily activities and a 64% decrease in medication-induced dyskinesia. Brain imaging studies showed a 28% increase in dopamine storage within the striatum after 18 months. This study was open label though, meaning that both the participants and the researchers knew who was receiving the drug and who was not. In 2003, a larger, double-blind study of 34 participants did not show the same results although the method used to administer the drug was slightly different and there have been suggestions that this may have contributed to the outcome. In mid-2004, researchers announced that the trial had failed to demonstrate any clinical improvement and in September that year the study was discontinued. One of the reasons given for halting the trial was the presence of neutralising antibodies in two of the participants. There was a concern that these antibodies would not only clear the brain of the GDNF drug, but also of the body's own natural supply of GDNF. The consequences of this are unknown and so the trial was stopped. There have been several subsequent clinical studies of GDNF using different methods of administering the drug. A gene therapy trial used genetically modified viruses to deliver the GDNF, but failed to demonstrate any meaningful improvement. A study by NS Gene focuses on the delivery of GDNF by encapsulated cell therapy devices which were implanted in specific areas of the brain, although the outcome of this study is not yet known. A recent double-blind clinical trial with 41 participants completed in 2017. This trial used an innovative delivery device to pump the GDNF to exactly the right location in the brain. Initial results of this nine-month study do not show a clear difference between those participants that received GDNF and those that were given the placebo. These are only initial results though, and a more comprehensive view of the effects of GDNF will result from detailed analysis of the data collected during the trial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.